And today there were multiple events honoring the lives lost on September 11th at Montana State, including a memorial held outside Montana Hall. The future United States Army officers of the ROTC also ran throughout Bobcat Stadium in honor of the heroes that that day who ran up and down the Twin Towers. <laughs> This is the scene in Lower Manhattan as the following continues. The two towers of the World Trade Center are down, destroyed, completely collapsed in, in, in separate avalanches, one then two. So you know, we were five blocks away when the first tower came down and about one block away when that second tower came down. And let me tell you, and excuse my French, it's hell to watch almost 3,000 people die in a matter of seconds. One passenger, Thomas Burnett Jr. told his wife over the phone, I know we're all gonna die. There's three of us who are going to do something about it. I love you, honey. Over an open line, Todd Beamer, another passenger was heard saying, are you guys ready? Let's roll. September 11th, 2021 is not a day of celebration nor was it ever intended to be. It was a day to remember. This morning while we're running these stairs, just think about all the people that sacrificed their lives and lost their lives running up and down stairs, either trying to save people or trying to get to safety. Today we did a 9-11 memorial stair workout to commemorate, obviously, uh, the tragic events of 9-11 and how the first responders and people in the buildings that stepped up to be first responders climbed up and down the flights of stairs, um, bringing people out and then going right back up to attempt to bring more out. I was only one year old um, when this all happened, but it's still close to my heart. Um, I've had people, some of my dad's friends were involved with it. Um, I had a neighbor down the road when I was younger who was a firefighter during the incident and survived. So definitely uh, just want to encourage my generation to remember the events of 9-11 and um, memorialize and honor the people that, that died that day. My family go out and friends go out and come back without arms and legs, you know, and so you, you see that impact. Just think, dig deep and go, somebody else ran up stairs trying to get to the 177th floor of the World Trade Center to try to get people out, knowing that the building was on fire because a giant airplane had crashed into it, and so was the one next to it. When I was running through the stairs, uh, I was just imagining uh, all the firefighters um, working up those stairs with the smoke, being on oxygen, 60 plus pounds a year. It's just being, having nothing of that on, it just kind of made me think of what that would feel like and how hard that must have been. What that did was that put our nation at war for like two decades. Right? Like, um, and you all grew up that way. Like, my kids grew up that way. Um, but then in the middle of all that, you decided, you know what? Send me. I'll go. I'll be part of that. And that's not a small thing. Super important to remember. Remember the lives that were given, like, not only in that event, but everything that's come after that. And that tragic day was truly a day that changed the lives of many Americans.